Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a, uh, a little collaboration that I picked up to uh, celebrate my birthday. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Spring Summer 2019 Supreme Old Dirty Bastard Football Jersey that I picked up from Grailed. But before we start unboxing this, I gotta thank you guys again. It literally was less than 24 hours. <laughs> Yesterday, for the drop list video for Palace's week five of their summer 2021 collection, I thanked you guys for helping us reach 3,000 subscribers. I also said, uh, could we reach the new subscriber milestone of 3,010 subscribers before the end of this new month, June. Well, you guys did it straight away. We hit 3,010. So I just wanted to say a big thank you. Thank you for the continuous support. We managed to reach the milestone that I set this month and we're on uh, day two. <laughs> so uh, by day three, can we hit 3,015 subscribers? Potentially? <laughs> that, would be, that would be crazy, but that's going to be the new subscriber milestone for this month guys 3015 subscribers thank you for the continuous support and thank you for helping me reach the old milestone of 3010 subscribers let's dive into this so i alluded to it in episode 18 of our sort of weekly podcast series or at least i think it was episode 18 it might have been episode 17. uh i picked up two things to celebrate my birthday i picked up a pair of sneakers which if you've been following the channel is obviously the uh what the fours and then i also alluded to that i was picking up a uh wu-tang clan uh piece um now some of you may have thought it may have been the you know photo tees and various other tees that supreme has released in the past maybe you thought it was a different collaboration with wu-tang but no the piece that i picked up for my birthday was the spring summer 2019 supreme old dirty bastard football jersey i have been wanting this piece for a while so uh by about the end of 2019 i started to get into 90s hip-hop um a mate of mine at work which by the way the mate of mine at work he's in his i think early 50s i think he's now left my current work so i don't really keep in touch with him too much but um yeah he, he was talking to me about uh, 90s hip-hop back in late 2019 and said that i should get into it and it was just really cool to hear um, all these opinions on 90s hip hop from someone who actually like grew through that era and listened to the music as it came out through that era. And he of course recommended me the Wu-Tang Clan and said that I had to go and start listening to them. So I listened to their debut record, uh, uh, debut record, uh, Enter the Wu-Tang, uh, Enter the Wu-Tang with 36 Chambers, an amazing, an I, I cannot express it enough, an absolutely amazing record. He then also recommended me to get into the solo projects of each of the Wu-Tang members. So, Jizza, Old Dirty Bastard, Method Man. I mean, I could list them off like they do in the Method Man song in the debut record, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, so I dived into their solo projects and eventually I stumbled onto the 1995 solo project, uh, Return to 36 Chambers, the Dirty Version by Old Dirty Bastard. And I gotta say, once I listened to that record, I fell in love with it, man. From start to finish, I just had such a good time. He's such a unique character. So I looked into it. I was like, oh, what didn't in 2019, wasn't there like a Supreme collaboration with Old Dirty Bastard? And there was. And ever since late 2019, when I listened to that debut record, I have been wanting to pick up this piece ever since the only problem is an extra large in either the blue or the red color of this jersey was becoming harder and harder to find it came in three colors blue red and yellow but i wasn't really feeling the yellow i ideally wanted the blue but there were no listings on grail that had been posted in like the past six months um for the blue colorway the only one that had been posted was this listing for the red one which i scooped up as soon as i could because i absolutely wanted this piece in either the red or the blue i wasn't fussed i picked it up from a grail user which i will link on the screen as well i know his ig it's uh maxime mano 
a, a lovely person to uh, buy from. I tell you what, guys, he was very, very helpful. Um, unfortunately, we had some difficulties with the posting because uh, the posting service La Poste, which I assume is the French, uh, you know, public uh, shipping company, uh, we it just took a while. We couldn't find the tracking, but it's okay because it's now here. <laughs> so we had some issues with that. But uh, it's finally here. He's a wonderful guy. Definitely go follow him on IG. Definitely go check out his grail profile. But uh, yeah, I picked it up from him. It's here. And I'm super keen to just unbox it and get into it today. I bought it in an extra large because, well, I'm an extra large fella. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it fits. I've never bought a Supreme Soccer jersey before. So we'll, we'll do some quick legit checking as well. I did some before buying it, but obviously we'll do some when we unbox it. But uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's unbox this old dirty bastard Supreme football jersey and see how it looks. All right, let's get into it, guys. So um, initially, I, I had a look on YouTube to see if there was anyone uploading any content about this, um, you know, collaboration that happened in 2019. And I was kind of disappointed. There was a lot of people posting about just like the drop list and stuff like that. But there was no one that really posted it and was like a fan of Old Dirty Bastard and was like, ah, I've been wanting this for ages because I love the Wu-Tang Clan or I love Old Dirty Bastard. And I don't know. I was kind of saddened by that. I was like, oh man, it's just a bunch of hype beasts, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, I, again, it is what it is. I would have liked some fans just to like hear their reactions on it, but oh well. Now let's get into it, guys. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, oh, I think we've also got a little bit of extra in here as well. Oh my god, Ma uh, Maxime has put a little bit of extra in there. Oh wow, I did have to do that. Okay, provided a BOGO sticker and the water gun sticker as well he didn't have to do that thank you thank you maxim you didn't there we go wow that's rare that's rare very rarely or at least in my case i feel like in my track history you very rarely get someone who also sends some supreme stickers when you buy a supreme item off them very rarely if you're not you know obligated to but it is very very nice when someone does that so thank you for the extra stickers there that is very nice but let's get into the piece here so it's very lightweight you can as you can see you can fold an extra large into a very small little package there but let's get it up so the back of the uh football top features supreme 95 and you may be like but daniel that can't be right supreme was established in 1994 why the hell does it have 95 on the back of it? Well, it's because uh, Old Dirty Bastard's debut album, his first solo record, came out in 1995. It was actually meant to come out in 1994, but he was glug 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 and not focusing in the studio too much. So it eventually came out in 95. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it says a little bit about his character, but yeah, the album got pushed back because yeah, well, yeah, it's just him. It's of course, of course it did. And if you also notice, I don't know if you guys know, but if you go look up on YouTube and various other platforms, you can find rare old footage of the clan performing at live events. And this is before they released their uh, debut, you know, group record. Um, and you can see a lot of the bars that RZA spits, Jizza spits, and Method Man spits are actually bars that um, ODB uses in his debut record. And you can kind and you kind of get a taste of that in the Hulu series that they're doing, um, the Wu Tang series. I've been watching that and I've been really enjoying that. But you get a taste of that there. I hope they explore that in season two, but season two has been delayed a little bit because coronavirus. But I'm very keen for season two of that show as well. So yes. That's why it has Supreme 95 on the back of it. Let's turn over to the front, which is the big exciting part that I absolutely love. So on the front of the piece, we have the Supreme, we have the old Dirty Bastard, uh, Return to 36, the Dirty Version, album artwork on the front. So that is the album artwork for his iconic debut record. There is Old Dirty Bastard chilling on there. A lot of people say it's a library card, but it's a food co um, coupon card. Because as you can see, it says identification card for food coupons and public assistance. Um, there was a lot of controversy as well 
old dirty bastard after releasing his first record rocked up to um a place to um you know use your food stamps he rocked up in a limo the just another story of uh, his very unique character there. But there is the piece. Uh, it has a extra large tag up the top there, as we can see. And it has a little tag down the bottom here that says, uh, New York Quality Garments Established 1994 Supreme. I don't know if it has a wash tag. As I said, I've never bought... Oh, here it is. It does have a wash tag. So here we go. It says... Supreme New York, 100% polyester, made in China because, well, a lot of the stuff that Supreme makes is actually made in China. And then uh, the uh, hoodies, crewnecks, uh, and a couple other pieces, other pieces that are made in Canada. So a Supreme piece made in China does not instantly mean it's fake. It's just that most of the pieces, like the hoodies, crewnecks, and stuff like that, are made in Canada. But there is the little wash tag there. I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus on it for you um, that's it there I don't know if it's gonna pick up too well there but that's it there that's all the tags that's all the legit checking the font looks good on the wash tag the font looks good on all the tags I compared the graphic to other listings of the uh, hockey jersey and it all looks good and also the moderators on Grail said it was okay so all the thumbs up from me there yeah look it's an awesome awesome piece the only thing left we've got to do is try it on and see how it fits. Here it is, guys. I gotta say, I'm really glad I went with the extra large. Normally a Supreme Extra Large is a good fit for me and I can even go into a large. But with their soccer jerseys, I would have said a large would have been too small for me in both length and width. So if you're 6'5", around 115 to 20 kilos, Definitely go with the extra large. Although a lot of you after hearing those measurements are probably like, yeah, duh. <laughs> but there you go. That's what it looks like from a distance. I love the album artwork. It's so big. It's just, ah, it's so good. <laughs> now V-neck, yeah, I haven't worn something with a V-neck for a hot minute. That's, um, that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to get used to. I'm so used to crew necks and stuff. Like, I think this is probably my only V-neck piece in this whole wardrobe here. Like I just, yeah. Just don't wear v-necks you need a pop and chest for a v-neck i gotta say so on the back we feature the supreme 95 on the back of it like a hockey jersey although in saying that the font style and everything like that is more styled like a basketball jersey it's a lot more american and i mean i don't see soccer jerseys with that kind of typeface on the back of it i don't know if you guys see them but i, I see a very different typeface and a very different look soccer jerseys but maybe this is how they do them in america i honestly don't know let me know guys but yeah i love the uh you know pattern down uh on the bottom part here the graphic i mean i love the graphic that's the main thing just the album artwork on the front there it's so good i just i love this album so much if i had to if i had to go through the solo projects and say which one's my favorite i'd probably go liquid swords i mean you can't People that have listened to Wu-Tang Clan, you know what I mean, you can't not put Liquid Swords as number one. It is definitely the best solo project. Then it would probably go, are you do it for Cuban Links? Probably be my second favorite and the second best. Um, and then the third, the third I'd probably have to give to Old Dirty Bastard. I'd have to put him at number three. Cause I mean, again, if you've listened to only Built for Cuban Links and Liquid Swords, they're just absolutely fantastic records um so yeah and they are better records than uh you know uh, return to 36 the uh dirty version but it's still an awesome album i'm a huge fan of odb so this is just an awesome piece um, i'm definitely just gonna use this for like loungewear just like at home or in the summer because it's actually really really lightweight the mesh material on the shoulders uh the uh, material on the torso it's all very lightweight and very breathable so i feel like for the hotter um you know days uh, towards the end of the year in australia this is going to be a really good piece to rock yeah i really like this this is really sick <laughs> thank you maxime for selling that to me through grailed uh, i want to hear how you guys feel um about this piece do you like it do you not like it do you know who old dirty bastard is have you listened to any wu-tang clan records let me know how you feel about this piece down in that comment section below. But that's it guys, that is it, fully unboxed. I'm super happy with it. I would, I would love 
uh, for more Wu-Tang Clan, not even just like Supreme collaborations, but just like more Wu-Tang Clan um, collaborations with either, either other brands or to bring back Wu wear their clothing line in the late 90s. I would love to bring that back in like high quality garments with, you know, obviously references to the original album, the solo records. I would really love a clothing line dedicated to giving us Wu-Tang Clan products. Cause I love the albums and I would love to say, have stuff like this, but for like only built for Cuban links, Liquid Swords, I would love a Liquid Swords tee. I know that I'm pretty sure that released with Supreme as well, but that's like, very hard to find, so I'll have to go hunting for the Liquid Swords T if that's a thing. I did get the Liquid Swords uh, sticker though um, in one of my first ever un uh, Supreme unboxings, which was um, <clears throat> pretty wild. I gotta say, I was I, at the time I didn't know what it was, but now that I have the sticker, I'm like, damn, I don't want to use the Liquid Swords sticker. This is an awesome sticker. <laughs> and obviously, I do want to collect uh, all the records, original print on vinyl. I've got a couple of their. Uh, test pressings for their singles, but I would love to actually own like the full album Original print from when it first released that would just be sick. I just yeah, I'm a I've become a huge fan of Wu-Tang Clan They're an awesome 90s hip-hop group. Their solo projects are really good Definitely check them out if you need some recommendations I can send you in the right direction, but so can a lot of other people on the internet uh, Yeah, let me know how you feel about this guys and whether or not you would pick it up. How do you feel about Supreme? soccer jerseys in general because I know a lot of you guys are probably like me where you love their jackets their hoodies their crew necks and everything like that but would you pick up a supreme soccer jersey that's probably a different lane for a lot of you guys let me know how you feel about it down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep covering you know or unboxing more pieces that I pick up uh, you want me to keep I don't know get more Wu-Tang Clan pieces don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and of course a subscribe to the channel as that's the best indicator to let me know that you guys want to see more content like this on the channel we're also trying to aim for that new subscriber milestone that i mentioned of 3015 subscribers hopefully with your continuous support guys we can reach that milestone before the end of june that's all i've got to say about this piece guys i absolutely love it you probably will see it featuring another video later on i'd like to say thank you to uh maxime mano or mano maxime for selling me this piece on Grailed. I love it. I've received it and it's just a sick piece. I'm really, really happy with it, guys. So, uh, yeah, and until the next unboxing video, until the next Supreme video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.